We will now discuss what remanufacturing means. Remanufacturing means returning a used product, remaking the product like new or even better than new and selling it again to a customer. The main idea of remanufacturing is to keep as much of the value in the product or component as possible. The value is in, for example, the materials, energy, production and transportation. Lower materials and energy use helps the planet too. Leading thinkers are proposing that remanufacturing is a good way to use products. This can be seen in the waste hierarchy, for example, used by the European Commission. It is important though to check that re the remanufacturing of a product or component really does lead to improved sustainability. Environmental burdens from transportation or processing has to be taken into account when choosing which product or how to remanufacture. Also, there can be a risk that the product or component contains hazardous substances which may be, be even forbidden today. From a company perspective, Remanufacturing is a way to provide products or components with much lower cost in materials, energy use and time in production. The remanufacturing approach can provide improved profits. This value saving can be translated into very competitive offerings to customers. I have seen that many companies earn between two to five times as much as they do for their similar new products. In some cases, we also see that the main driver for remanufacturing is that the product or component contains raw material which are insecure in supply. Companies producing remanufactured products stay, state that they, their products are as good as new and they provide full warranties and guarantees in the same way as for any other product. In some remanufactured product examples, all parts of the product are used again but there are also examples where the core product is kept and new, often improved components are added. Sometimes remanufacturing also includes the upgrading of software or the design. There are a lot of examples of remanufactured products and or components available on the market already today. Perhaps these products or components go through remanufacturing just because they are already well designed for remanufacturing or sometimes the design was not aimed at helping the remanufacturing activity, but money is made anyway. Now, let's look at some examples for you as an inspiration. Scania Truck Company, based in Sweden, remanufactures some components, such as the gearbox. Here we see barbecues and radios at Svilitus, a company buying return products from other companies, remanufacturing them and then selling on the open market. Remanufacturing of furniture is a growing business. Here a chair, where the cost for a remanufactured chair compared to a new one is about half, but the quality is still the same. Inrigo is a company buying mostly professional computer equipment, remanufacturing it, often including upgrading, and then selling it on the open market. Here you see Volvo cars where used parts are returned and remanufactured. They are sold as spare parts. Ecris, a company gathering car components, remanufacturing them and selling them as spare parts. The local bicycle repair shop who buys high quality used bikes, remanufactures them and sells them on the open market again. Remanufacturing can be done by the company providing the original products such as Scania and Volvo or by other companies such as Ecris working on the open market. For companies acting on a global market, transport of products or components can become an important issue and, and thus some companies have their remanufacturing sites spread globally. Some companies plan for a take-back system in detail in order to minimize the cost and or environmental impact from transportation. The main idea with this MOOC is to show you how to design products and components in a way that, it, that will make them better suited for remanufacturing. That means that your focus should not be to remanufacture current products, 
but encourage you to develop new products for a better future.